everyone. Today we are going to discuss three important commands uh, of Cisco IOS. One is logging synchronous, exit timeout, and no IP domain. So as usual, a little bit background about these commands. So for instance, we have a switch, a router, and we are connected with the uh, IOS of the switch, or a router using console port, telnet, or secure shell. So whatever way, but we are connected with the IOS of this switch. And we are interacting with the IOS of the switch. So we have a command line interface here, and we are just giving some commands to the switch to configure it. And meanwhile, if this switch has some problem, if this switch or router has some errors or some message, and if there is some urgency, then what happens? So if the switch or router has something urgent, then it will notify the administrator immediately. So the switch will send a message, and that message will, will be displayed here. So even if we, if we are if we are writing or we are typing some commands and we are in the middle of that command, that message will not take care of that and it will be displayed. And this specifically is known as syslog messages. And these syslog, so these are syslog messages, and these are the information about the events, errors, or any serious problem happening in the switch or router. So on one hand, this is useful, but sometimes we get distracted, so we, we lose our attention, and we want a way that we should be able to convey our message to the switch that please do not disturb us. So we want to do that. So is there any way to do this thing? So yes, Cisco has provided uh, a way to do that and for that we have a command so if you are at the console port so if you are connected with the console and we don't want that message to be displayed during, during our uh, interaction with the Cisco switch or router then what we do we go to the console port using this command I hope you already remember and then you issue this important command that is logging synchronous and this will actually hold or uh, this will ask this switch to hold those all notifications so it will just wait until there is any uh, uh, until there is no input from us so it will not uh, block us it will not just disturb us in between those commands okay so for that period it will wait until there is any input from the keyboard or is there any output sometimes what happens we give some show commands to the switch or router and we want to see the output of those show commands and even if this uh, the output of show command is being displayed the switch will hold all the notification of syslog messages it will not disturb us so once we are finished with that those all messages will be displayed so those syslog messages will be displayed so one of the way is to uh, hold on those notifications and if you want to disable that feature so sometimes we just want to disable that feature completely then we also have a command and for that we need to go to global configuration mode and we just issue this command so no logging console will just disable the feature so this is the idea about that and let's do the same get the idea we need a switch so i'm taking a switch from here the switch and we also need a pc so we took a PC here, and we need a console connection to get connected using the console port. So connection and the console from here to the console port of the switch. Okay, now we want to get connected using this PC. So click, desktop, terminal, and by default, whatever setting are there, okay. And now we are in the we are trying to access the iOS. So we are in the user mode of the Cisco switch from a PC using the console port. Okay. So what happens? For instance, we we want to assign an IP address to the VLAN one. 
and for that what we do we need to go to the privilege mode so enable and then global configuration mode and from here the interface vlan 1 and here we assign an ip address to it so one ip address 192.168.10.1 and submit mark 255.255.255.0 enter and no shut down command so no shut down enter so you see as soon as we just enter the command we got some message so we got a message from the switch that something has happened and that is interface vlan change state to up before that, the state was down, and with this command, the switch, the VLAN interface, the state of that changed to up, and this message has been displayed for us. Okay? So, such kind of messages may be too long. For illustration purpose, this is really a small message, but there, those kind of messages can sometimes be really, really long, and we get sometimes distracted for that. Now, we want to avoid that situation. Okay? And at the moment, you see, we, we don't have this, this command from, we don't have this, and this is space to write the command. We can write here, so we can write here, but we don't have that one interface. So, for example, from here, we can also execute those. So, we can exit, for example, we can use that command here as well, but we want to avoid that situation. Now, if you want to avoid that situation, so as we discussed, that we need to go to the uh, line console, and we just use the command that is logging synchro. So let's do that. Go to line console zero and here logging synchronous. So that's there and enter. Okay. So now what we did, we just use that command and now it will not disturb us during our interaction with the with the switch. So let's suppose that we want to check this, uh, the same situation. So if we go to this, for example, if we go to the line interface from here, line interface, uh, not line interface, sorry, interface VLAN 1. Okay, now we are in the interface VLAN 1. And let's say we are going to shut it down, this interface. Just so shut down and we just press enter. So you see, if the message uh, if the message is still there that this 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 something changed but it's not going to disturb us during our normal operation so you have this thing see did you notice that that now we have this command prompt and we are not disturbed that much so in this way somehow we ask the switch to wait for a while uh, so hold on until we are finished with that so this is one of the ways to ask the switch to hold on those syslog messages for us. And if you want to do, if you want to disable that uh, everything, then we have another command that we discussed. Now, if we want to disable that, then we have a command, no logging console. And for that, we need to go to the global configuration mode from this interface mode. So this is the global configuration mode. And in this mode, we just type no logging uh, console. So this command will disable that feature. Okay. And now to prove that, let's go again to this virtual interface. For example, if you are going to this interface VLAN 1. And now we are going to um, no shut it. So we are going to change the status to up. So they say no shut. So in principle, it should display some message for us that VLAN interface has been has changed its status to up. So let's see, is it happening? So press enter. No. So you can see we didn't get any message after this command. So yes, switch changed the status of VLAN one from down to up, but it did not display any syslog message here. So we have displayed that feature by using this command of no logging console. So by default, the switch displays those syslog, syslog messages. We can use a command to, uh, to ask the switch to hold on uh, or to wait for us. 
how we can disable that feature. So we have these three options uh, that we can use this with the syslog messages.